Hey fellow photographers, it's Alessandro Carpentiero and I want to welcome you to episode number 41 of the Photography News Show. Coming up today we have the new OM1 and much more. So let's begin! Camera News One year ago, Olympus quit the photography market and it transferred that side of business to OM Digital Solutions. And this week, it has unveiled the OM1 camera. And interestingly enough, it still features the Olympus logo. But well, that's the last time we'll see it on any camera. And it's some kind of homage to a brand that played a big part in the photography industry, including the mirrorless revolution. I personally was an Olympus shooter for a couple of years and I was a big fan, I mean I still am, of this system. So before we let the nostalgia take this video off the rails, let's talk about this new OM1. On the outside it sure looks like an OMD camera. Still there are a ton of improvements and OM Solutions has focused on five pillars. Image quality, computational photography, speed, build quality and video capabilities. Let's take a quick look at each. For image quality, we have a new 20 megapixel backside illuminated stack sensor, driven by the TruePeak X image processor, which is three times faster than previous models and helps improve the dynamic range. Olympus was known for its excellent on sensor stabilization, and the OM1 continues its legacy, achieving a whopping 8 stops of stabilization. It means that you can easily shoot above one second handheld significantly increasing the camera's usability, for example in busy places where you don't have time to set up a tripod. The second pillar, computational photography, is all about using software for creative purposes. The most interesting feature is the live neutral density mode, which makes it possible for you to shoot long exposures without needing any ND filter, because the camera has some kind of digital ND filter with a strength of up to 64. When it comes to speed, the OM1 features the world's first quad-pixel autofocus system, which gives the camera 1053 all-cross-type phase detection focus points to quickly focus on your subject, anywhere on the sensor. The camera also uses AI detection autofocus, which was developed using deep learning technology and makes the camera recognize subjects and consequently optimize focus, whether that's a race car, motorcycle, bird, etc. Speed-wise, it can shoot up to 50 fps with AF-AE tracking enabled or up to 120 fps with locked AF-AE. The shutter speed with the mechanical shutter goes as fast as 1 8,000th of a second, while the electronic shutter goes up to 1 32,000th of a second. When it comes to cameras, you always have to be extra careful about water and dust, because they can easily mess up the functionality of your gear. But well, the OM1 is the first IP53 rated camera, making it freeze-proof, splash-proof and able to function in temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius or 14 Fahrenheit. Lastly, it looks like it's a camera made for videos too, being able to shoot 4K at 60fps and Full HD at 240fps. Internally, the OM1 can shoot in H265 at 420 10-bit and HLG, but it also supports raw data output in ProRes format. The OM1 feels like Olympus Zwan Song, where it can exit the photography market with a mic drop. So well, the OM1 will be available in March 2022 for $2,200, and you can pre-order it from the link in the description. Oh, and if you like this content, then please consider subscribing to this channel, because you will get this weekly show and always stay on top of the industry. It won't cost you anything and it really helps support my work. Thank you and let's get back to the news. Lens news. The lens news of this week still comes from OM Digital, which launched two lenses, the 12-40mm f2.8 Pro 2 and the 40-150mm f4 Pro. They are both IP53 rated lenses, so you can get an ultra resistant kit if you pair them with the OM1. The 12 to 40 mm, equivalent to a 24 to 80 mm, is the new version of the legendary Olympus kit lens and offers improved image quality. I've used the first version of this lens and I'd say it's one of the best all around lenses I've ever used. Talking about all around, the 40 to 150 mm f4 
is the compressed version of the Olympus 40-150mm f2.8 lens. The f4 version is almost half in size and weighs only 382 grams, which makes it the smallest and lightweight zoom lens that can arrive to 300mm with the fixed aperture. One of the reasons the OM system is so fascinating is that you can get great results from a very light and compact kit. For example, by getting both these lenses and the OM-1 camera, the whole kit would weigh less than 1.4 kg or 3 pounds, and you could cover a focal range from 24 to 300 mm. Pretty cool, right? The 12 to 40 mm f2.8 comes at $1,000, while the 40 to 150 at $900. And as always, you can grab them from the link in the description. That's it for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Photography News Show. Which news did you like the most? Just let me know in the comments. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell, and share this video with your photography friends. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.